Jason and I, we, uh, we're in real estate. I mean, we've sold 20,000 houses in a decade by God's grace, but we're also very vocal Christians. We don't really have to integrate our faith into our business because that's like trying to integrate blinking into your day. It's just who we are. So HG came to us in 2012, made us an offer. 2013, we negotiated. 2014, we start filming. And Right Wing Watch created an article about our pro-family stance, pro-marriage, uh, pro-life stance. And as a result of that, we got fired. So that's basically what happened. But they got bullied into it. HG really wanted to stand with us. They wanted to stay with us, but glad Right Wing Watch. I mean, there were other uh, liberal websites that were really pressuring them to get us off the air. And unfortunately, they just had to bow out of that You're, you're not allowed to believe those things and be on TV. So maybe we should have just been quiet. Then we could have had a really nice show, but we weren't gonna do, we weren't gonna do that. <laughs> Now I heard you were already filming and in the middle of some renovations, but and, the, and HGTV canceled your show, but you went through and finished those renovations. Why did you do that? We did. We, um, we played professional baseball, and I remember a lesson that we learned back in Little League from my dad. He said, guys, when you swing and you hit a ground ball really hard to the shortstop and you're out before you get to first base, you run all the way through first base. And so for us with this show, it was canceled about halfway through all the renovations. And so we went and told the families that we're going to finish this out for you, whether we're on camera or whether we're not. And so we finished it, and the last three properties are actually under contract, set to close next month. So you're still renovating houses off camera. Um, how has this experience affected your ability to do business with different sort of companies? Well, we, we've been doing this for a long time, but we also have a very strong element where we sell foreclosure properties for banks and, and government-sponsored enterprises and, and the like. Uh, one of the major differences we've seen since the HGTV fallout, some of our bigger clients have actually spoken to us and, and some of the key decision makers and, and uh, even the line level employees have actually contacted us and said, guys, we're really afraid to say that we support the Benham Brothers because we're afraid we're going to lose our job. That's just a, that's a dangerous place for us to be in America today. And that's one of the reasons why we feel so passionate about standing up for religious freedom, about standing up for our Christian faith in America is because there are so many people that feel they're going to lose their jobs if they actually not only say the things that we said, but simply support guys like us or others that might be vocal Christians. So it's important that we make a stand. And how do you respond to critics who call, call those views intolerant? We are espousing views that have been held for thousands of years. And, and they're outlined in a book that brings life. And so when Christ comes into a human heart, life, actually, you can experience life in a way that you never could before. For us to be able to throw off any restraint, any moral absolutes, then you're not going to experience the life-giving truths that God has. And so if you want to call us intolerant, you can do that. Uh, but when the red light says stop, you better stop. Do you have anything to add? It's pretty intolerant of them to not tolerate our views.